yeah that high pass obviously by default needs to be made the higher frequency it will depend on your microphone but generally the response should be flat like that then it will work better in this case going all the way to two kilohertz which is okay because you can still see lower frequencies they're just being suppressed so that's what happens if you have that high pass filter off and when it's on you just get a flatter response well because you have some um, static or whatever noise in the very low frequencies there so you essentially don't filter them completely you essentially just half them yeah we don't actually need the low pass i think for it to work uh, properly yeah just the uh, originally adding the high pass would have been sufficient enough and this probably be a good time to mention that if you haven't checked the website yet please go do so you'll be helping the project yeah and later we also asked asked it to generate prompts for github copilot create enhanced visualization hey we might add them as prompts yeah github copilot works very different so just by having those prompts there and, uh, uh, using copilot if we start the new chat with the workspace handle all the open files are taken into account so it will uh, take those prompts as well yeah so it's deciding by itself uh, which uh, files to look at I don't like those tool tips being just over the question mark there instead of hey I was kind of expecting it to be over every item yep it's finishing the update electrodes uh, function right it brought it brought the original colors and everything which is good I think those are the original colors so essentially the high pass filter here just should uh, adjust that to reduce that uh, noise can see that, that noise when there is silence in yeah, this bit yes yeah, so 14 1400 that's the job uh, with my specific uh, microphone uh, maybe we make it a thousand or something and the thing is changing okay i don't know why you have to hit the start with microphone button every time you can ask the bot in a sec our new co-host just have to improve its uh, audio yeah this is not updating uh, one two one two one two one two okay no it's not so bad okay I stuff something up i stuffed something up but the way yeah the way we're working with the board uh, is a bit peculiar it's not ideal uh, we can just take on reading the code it doesn't generate anything else and then we uh, start using the the bot on the phone again can you summarize and uh, repeat the last response hey can you give a summary of the current code we're gonna go back to the flask application but can you keep it short if you feel like being funny go for it but keep it on topic mm -hmm. this will be dangerous sure. here's a short summary of your current code html contains a title and introduction for the cochlear simulator main container with a canvas, audio canvas, for audio visualization, and a div pixel canvas for electrode visualization. Buttons and sliders to control audio filters with tooltips for guidance. JavaScript creates electrodes in a spiral layout within pixel canvas, initializes audio context, and sets up low-pass and high-pass filters, captures audio from the microphone using the web audio API, event listeners update filter values, and start audio processing continuously updates the audio canvas and electro colors based on frequency data. manages tooltips for control explanations this setup provides real-time audio visualization with interactive filter controls dynamically changing electro colors based on audio input uh, with the html and javascript i made some uh, changes uh, particularly to the default I was trying to change the default value for the high pass uh, filter but i think i might have stuffed something up got it let's review the 
HTML and JavaScript changes for the IPOS filter default value. Updated HTML. You've updated the default value for the high pass slider, high pass slider to 1000. That's right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think it really doesn't like me. You can see the code here. Conversation history. Updated JavaScript. Adjusting the JavaScript to handle the new default value for the high pass filter. You can see the code in our conversation history. Yeah, I can, uh, I can see generate a lot of code. Um, what? Poo -poo. Yeah, yes. I provided the full context for both the HTML and JavaScript to ensure everything is clear. Here's a brief recap of the changes. HTML changes. Updated the default value for the high pass filter slider, the high pass slider, to 1000 JavaScript changes. Adjusted the JavaScript to handle the new default value for the high pass filter ensuring the correct initial value is set and updated dynamically. If you have any specific part you'd like to focus on or further adjust, let me know. Okay, let's uh, close it for a sec. Um, yeah, what's the plan? Yeah, we just, uh, what I was saying is that we only needed to uh, update the default value that we did, but I suspect something isn't uh, right at the moment because when you turn it off, um, um yeah something isn't right yes updated to 1000 index html that shouldn't have that should have stayed the same this should have been the same as well so i'm not sure why you a uh, generating a uh, why are you generating those fine and update the javascript so did you just regenerate the whole thing? Didn't finish. Yeah, I like how the copy button is at the bottom and the top. It's really nice. A summary of changes. It's not behaving as it uh, was before. I don't know why. One, 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 one. It seemed to work. One, two, one, two. Ah, I took click the microphone uh, do we really need the start with microphone do we really need start with a microphone button or can we get rid of it can it just work on um, loading sure we can streamline the code to focus on the essential parts without the microphone is focus on improving the visualization and electrode update mode. okay now it starts to annoying me do we absolutely must have the start with microphone button or can the microphone get just turned on when the application starts the first time around you have reached the message cap for gpt <laughs> please try again later uh, how long is the timer you have reached the message cap for GPT-4. Please try again later. Can I use a different model? You have reached the message cap for GPT-4. Okay, the robot is broken. Give me the error in here as well. You reached out the GPT-3.5 until limit resets in 26 minutes. I got 26 minute timer. Okay, this is how useful it is. Not very. <laughs> <laughs> so to answer the question can uh, gpt4 not a uh, be a co-host of a youtube channel i think this is the answer uh, no uh, now the question is before it wasn't doing it but uh, if i hit 3.5 yeah this one doesn't have a button it will make sense for it to be a button to move to a different model it's telling us to take a break, doesn't it? I was just wondering, um, is would this okay? So it's working with three point five. Explain above code. Explain the current web application that we are developing. Yep. Uh, let's see if it's still yeah it's still on track. Can you continue development or um, yep yeah? But I don't really trust it so. Hey, I might wait the 20 minutes or so. I was paying for this. I don't know what the limit is. I don't know why it's also not showing you. Before it actually used to have a disclaimer. 
that uh, you know there are limits now the disclaimer is gone there obviously still are limits so i don't know what's up with that also if you do have limits it would be nice to see um you know like uh you know a bar or something filling up to the limit and in theory it should be a time window as well so if you're not prompting it or anything that the the limit should go down with time yep yeah obviously some generic stuff clear yeah, if you haven't checked out uh, boinkills.com please go do so there's lots of interesting tools the more recent one is this uh, live simulation yeah so i want to get rid of that uh, button so when we load the page it starts working straight away and uh, normally it's not allowed there's some browser policies whatever but apparently the robot says there is a way to bypass that we are testing it at the moment uh, we have many of those event listeners uh, we have the dom content loaded uh, we're also updating the start visualization function uh, so we'll comment it out there click to enable audio don't need to control f5 click to enable audio yeah now we have like two clicks instead of one so what's the point I'm still, I'm still, and something's uh, and we got an error as well uh that's not good yeah so essentially we want that uh, button to pop up add visible prop to, uh, to the page that asks you to click start the audio visualization trigger the start visualization blah, 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 blah. remove the prompt from the page uh, yes, we need to do all. Well, we can get rid of the button called anyway. Can get rid of the button. Yes, essentially, just need to click on the page somewhere. Which is fair enough. We don't. Well, we don't have the button anymore. No, just comment it out for a sec. Okay, we get rid of the start the audio button from the HTML and we need to fix the JavaScript code because currently we're getting the following error. Yeah, this is uh, working. One, two, one, two. This is much better. So the bot is able to do something helpful. Uh, that's very nice. Thank you very much. Uh, the other thing is, I want to make sure, yeah, that the activation is looking fine. Let me just test it with uh, turning my sound off. I'll just do annoying uh, noises to see how the electrodes gets activated when it's uh, more specific frequencies. It kind of, uh, it kind of works, more or less. Click to enable audio. Yep, it's uh, working. Fine. Should we add an option? A set of lectures that is evenly spaced around the center of the canvas. What? Update the color of the lecture based on the audio data. Yeah, we're already doing that. And that's working fine. Allow the user to adjust. Update the visualization. Yep, that's working fine. And the only problem is. And make sure how to test this testing with uh, voice is yeah limited. You click anywhere. Yeah, I would like to click on the screen anywhere on the page. Yes, yeah, so it's two separate issues kind of thing. Yeah, we have to limit this uh, band uh, to something more reasonable so this going up to 20 hertz but all the most of the speech one two one two yeah this one two one two one two one two ah, and we wanted to test stones electric uh, tools visual inspection it's kind of working okay 
Hey, make sure the electric card is based on the audio data. Would we make it uh, what's called Gemini doesn't have a limit for the number of prompts, prompts and things like that? Yeah, let's see. There's a couple things that we're trying to improve with this tool before releasing it. Uh, it's all happening in JavaScript, changing a couple, couple things at the same time. I want to make sure. Yep, that's yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> and before we had to press on this uh, banner, the click anywhere to enable audio. Now we can just click anywhere on the screen, which is much better. Yeah, and it won't. Yeah, the browser is preventing the microphone to to be um, um, used when. Uh, yeah, when the page loads, unless you interact with the page. So that's working fine. So that prompt is working fine. And now the other thing is, yeah, so the electrode cars, I'm not sure they actually activating the correct uh, electrode. Would be, would be nice. Uh, testing it with music. Uh, shall we also that's the different audio, so yeah, we can do that. But also, shall the user be able to select the, the number of electrodes, uh, which will change the number of bands? That's correct. That is correct. One, one. We're having trouble accessing the microphone. What? Yeah, we need to change the JavaScript as well. Just have to trust. Just have to trust the robot. We can get rid of that. The number of electrodes is now a variable. One, two, one, two. Yeah, it's working. It's the default. Yeah, we don't like that angle. We get rid. We only need it once. Uh, somewhere one 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 um it's kind of nice a uh, one question one question well there's many questions but uh you have to start somewhere yes the stuff we tried for the angle yeah we might need an overview on that one just turn the microphone off for a second see if i can activate the high electrodes yeah i can't really do it with my voice i don't know if it's the microphone or what's up well obviously the frequencies are there what happens if if i yeah, turn that off this should be activating yeah higher frequencies yeah this is activating this too yeah i might need to release it a bit but yeah, uh, okay, this actually works quite well. So now I'm getting more confident. Let's do less electrodes. Yeah, that one's getting activated fine, just fine. One, two, one, two. Yeah, don't like how we have only four. Mm, no, nah, it should be fine. It should be fine. It should be fine. Yeah, so we can see how the filters work. How the filters work. How the filters work. Well, this way nothing should get activated. Should actually not be possible for uh, these sliders to change, uh, you know, opposite directions or whatever. One, two, one, two. Yeah, this will activate the higher electrodes. I don't know how uh, should the angle step is calculated correctly. Make sure the field is type. Low pass and half pass, make sure the filters grow connected to the analyzer. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Up that the uh, checkbox uh, changed. Make sure the field is order. Order. Order in the house. Select. Yes, it should be selected by the user. Probably not. Probably a bit too much. No, just will make it unnecessarily complicated. It's set to uh, correct uh, values so using Gemini because uh, GPT-4 gave us a timeout it's probably back now absolutely 
Et let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time. Bye.